Uh, Scott, thank you for your time. Uh, tough start? Very tough. Um, not the way we wanted to start the season, obviously. Um, really frustrating. Really frustrating day from start to finish. There wasn't much in it in the first half. Uh, big deflected goal. They've gone in 1-0 up. Um, I thought we'd come out and had a bit of a go. Um, try not to criticise certain people too much, but a huge decision has gone against us, uh, which I, th I felt swung the game in their favour slightly. Um, then once we've conceded the second, players changed the way they were playing, what we'd asked them to do. It's, it's something that we've not seen sort of the back end of pre-season, certainly in the games. Um, and it led one mistake to the next to the next and the floodgates opened. Uh, the first goal was obviously very, very unlucky. Did that sort of deflate the lads a little bit, especially just before half-time? Um, no, to be honest, um, spirits were high at half-time. Um, still full of confidence. Um, thought we could get back in the game, thought we could even go on and win it. Um, I d other than one save, the, the, obviously the massively deflected goal and the one save that Ryan's made in the first half, Ryan's not been tested too much. Um, and then come out second half, certainly for the first 10 or 15 minutes, I thought we were on the front foot, I thought we were positive, I thought we got out of them. The keeper's made a couple of saves, Blackie's free kick, um, and then obviously charging 10 yards outside his box, nearly takes our striker's head off and manages to stay on the field for the rest of the game, a little bit frustrating. Obviously you don't want to see anybody getting sent off, but I think when you look at that and the referee says it wasn't dangerous play. I'm struggling to see how that's not dangerous play when he's he stood showing foot's head high and injures our centre forward. Um, and from there, I think a little bit of deflation from the lads. One or two of them tried to, to rally round and, and, and get us back in the game. The second goal went in um, and then you can see, see heads drop. Um, that's something that we've addressed in there. Standards were set pre-season and the lads haven't met them today. Uh it, it, was there still a little bit of rustiness, sort of lads sort of still getting to know each other, but some of them still know each other from, from previous times a little bit? Yeah, I mean, listen, you can, we can use cliches and as many scenarios as you want. There's, there's two lads in that dressing room there that was, that was at Ramsbottom last season. It's a completely new set of lads. I'm sure there's other teams in the league saying similar sort of things to us. But ultimately, um, you look at the, certainly the second half performance against Radcliffe until we, had to, until we were forced into making changes. The performance that we put in was excellent. Even in the first half, we matched the team two divisions higher. Looked comfortable, never looked under any threat. Today, uh, them lads have played together with each other for three or four games now. They've trained together the majority of pre-season. That's no excuse. Yes, we are still getting to know each other, but that's no excuse for the certainly the last 20 minutes of that performance. It's a very quick turnaround, uh, as per normal in this league, as it is going to be every single week. Uh, a very quick turnaround with the game on Tuesday night. Um, what are your expectations from your lads? You know, what are you going to ask them to do in the next couple of days? Well, obviously, it's uh, could it be good, could it be bad in terms of the, the quick turnaround? Um, we don't have time to work on anything and, and put the rights wrong, uh, put the wrongs right on the training field. Uh, but it also gives us the opportunity to go and put them on the field, get things right, put them right on the field, and, and, and forget about all about today's performance and result. Um, Isle of Man, it's, it's a completely different kettle of fish when you come up against them, obviously the, 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 the travelling onto the island. Um, they, they make, obviously, knowing from previous, they mix and match the team when they travel and stuff like that, so it's, it's hard to gauge what we're going to be up against. I've, the, the lads have had a bit of a dressing down in there. Everything's got to change, everything has to change. Uh, attitudes, mentality, um, the standards that they set pre-season were very, very high. It's not been met today. They've been told that it will be met come Wednesday, and if not, then there'll be severe changes made, because we can't put up with that. Scott, thank you very much indeed for your time, and good luck on uh, whenever the next game is. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday night. Cheers, thank you.